Morning fourth graders and happy Monday. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. Today we are going to be focusing on converting United States or US customary liquid measures. Let's start with the warm up. When using this picture, I want you to pause the video and I want you to think one pint is equal to how many cups? One quart is equal to how many pints? One gallon equals how many quarts? And a half gallon equals how many quarts? Think, how can that picture to the right help you? Remember how many cups are in a pint, how many pints are in a quart, and how many quarts are in a gallon? Pause this video, and when you're ready, press Y. Welcome back. So, thinking about how to use this image, I'm hoping we all re remembered that this big G here stands for gallons. And one gallon is equal to four Qs, or four quarts. Inside each quart, you have two Ps, which makes pints. And the little, little Cs in there stand for cups. One pint is equal to two cups. One quart is equal to two pints. One gallon is equal to four quarts, and a half gallon is equal to two quarts. Today we're going to work on these conversions. When using the U.S. customary liquid measures, we use cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. A cup is the smallest form of measurement that we would use when measuring liquids. You might have a cup of milk. Next we have our pint. A pint looks like this true moo chocolate milk I have on the side here. One pint is equal to two cups. It's like two cups of milk. Next up we have a quart. You may have seen a quart of milk in your home or maybe a quart of orange juice depending on what you have at your house. One quart is equal to two pints which is equal to four cups. The last use of measurement that we have is a gallon. A gallon is the largest liquid measure we use in the US. One gallon is equal to four quarts, which is eight pints or 16 cups. So today we're gonna to be converting between these US customary liquid measures. When you see your Google form underneath this video, you're gonna see this image just like we used before and you're also going to see a measurement scale. You can decide what one works best for you when using and converting liquid measures. But let's practice together. I want you to think. Adrian needs to buy water for his whole family to use for a camping trip. At the store, he can buy five gallons of water, five quarts of water, or five cups of water. What should Adrian buy to make sure his family has enough? So take a second, mathematicians. I want you to pause the video, and I want you to think, well, what should Adrian buy to make sure his family has enough water? When you're ready, press play. Welcome back. So if you said that Adrian definitely needs to buy five gallons of water, you're correct. Gallons are the largest use of measurement when we're measuring liquid in the U.S., Let's try one more practice problem together before you start your work. Ella and her sister have a lemonade stand. They want to make eight gallons of lemonade. They only have one quart containers. How many one quart containers are they going to need to hold eight gallons of lemonade? Okay, so think about this. I want you to pause the video one more time and try to figure out, well, how many quart containers is she going to need to hold her eight gallons of lemonade? Press play when you're ready. Welcome back. So let's go over this problem together. So if they're having a lemonade stand and they want eight gallons, but they only have one quart containers, I know that one gallon is equal to four quarts. So if I know that one gallon is equal to four quarts, to find how many are in eight gallons, I would have to multiply four times eight to get how, much, how many quarts of lemonade they need. And we know that when we multiply 4 times 8, we get 32. So the correct answer here was 32 quarts. All right, mathematicians, so today, underneath this form, you have more conversions to work on. 
make sure you're really reading, am I converting to cups, pints, quarts, or gallons? That's going to help you with your work today. All right, get started.